um, as you can already see, a much different kind of company than the two we have visited so far. So hopefully you'll get some exposure to some of the differences in starting a company that's actually making a physical good as opposed to an intellectual good. Oh, right. Yes. And my class. Hi class, how are you doing? Good, good. So, let's see. I guess I'll, I'm gonna give a kind of a general overview on how we started the company. So this company actually started out of our garage in uh, 2015. Uh, we created the company, the LLC, and registered the business from a campsite at Detroit Lake on an iPhone. So everything got started there, um, and it just kind of took off from our garage. We built trailer number one, which is not in the shop at the moment. I should have pulled it around for you guys, but we built that and created demand just from that and requests to build more. And it went from me building a second one just because to people actually ordering and asking us to build them. And now we're building close to 50 a year. So, and that's in uh, less than five years time, which is a blessing for a small business, right? I mean, to be able to start from a garage and then be able to s sustain yourself after four and a half years is, is pretty, uh, it's pretty awesome, I think. I left a 22-year career um, in an unrelated business altogether to start this one, um, mainly from a hobby. I was a woodworker, cabinet builder, furniture maker um, on my own, my private wood shop. So. This was a natural progression for me because I, they're, they're basically a very fancy cabinet on wheels and you know, you've know you got to do some waterproofing and things like that, but it, when I saw an example of a teardrop, I just could picture exactly how I was going to build it right off the bat, so it worked, it worked really well. <laughs> I, I'm looking at this and, and kind of saying, you can show this off and you can say, okay, this is what our leading competitor builds. <laughs> <And> <laughs> right. <laughs> <laughs>